Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. I found out some information this week that sort of blew my mind. Ooh. If, if you were to look at the tallest point on Earth and the mm-hmm. lowest point on Earth and were to drive that in a straight line, do you know how mm. far you'd be driving? A few kilometres? 20 kilometres. 20 kilometres, yeah. From right. the highest point on Earth to, which is yes. Mount Tesla Earth, to it's the, the far, Mariana Trench. That's nothing. Mm. I had a feeling it was going to be something like that, yeah. Yeah, and it's something I've sort of like always known, but hearing it out loud just mm. makes it seem we, real. Because Mount Everest is nine kilometres high. We live on a knife's edge as <laughs> far as being able to breathe and not float off into space. Yes, yeah, it's quite crazy. And I did want to come in with the other news I forgot. I have done something. <laughs> I've done something. I finally accepted defeat with something. Okay. My arms are no longer long enough. Oh, wait, you have glasses. I have glasses now, oh, except glasses they're not too. good for, they're not good for the computer. Mine are good for the computer, but uh, they yeah. reflect too much. So I usually yeah. don't wear them during the show, but you know what? I'm going to put them on now. I'm not going to, I've, I've only got them on Friday, so I'm still getting used to them. So yeah, but yeah I've accepted defeat. I, I yeah, see like it's distracting. Course, That's why. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes don't work like I have lied to myself for years saying they, they do. Yeah, right. Do you need them just for reading or for ever? For um, I, I'm, I got that, what, stigmatism? Is that the word? But oh, short yeah. and far. Like, so like what they did got, to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm exactly like Jesus. No, I've, I've got these that. for reading, and then I've got long vision for sunglasses for driving. Ooh, long vision. How long? Do you have, like, uh, superpowers now? No, it's not that. Well, oh, they're okay. not that bad. It's just got to the point where, like, yeah, mm-hmm. rip, driving, I could still drive fine without them. It's not like you need them. To, I need them to drive, mm-hmm. but it's nice to be able to read signs. Yeah, I don't need these at all most of the time, except I do, like, put them on occasionally and go, ooh, that's crisp. And mm. it kind of reminds me that there will come a point in the not-too-distant future when I probably will need them. Like, yeah. right now. Everything's fine, but like I said, I just yeah. put these on and I was just like, oh, look at that crisp text. Yeah. So. Like, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, even when they were getting me to test it when I picked it up, it's like, what's the mm. lowest line you can read? I, I can read the smallest. Yeah, yeah. But when I put these on, it's just, oh, I can still, I can, it's still just clearer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 100%. So, yeah. Yeah. So, me. um, we received some feedback. We did. From, uh, from the internet. We did. And we fixed it. You got rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, Dan's not here. <laughs> um, so we did. We we managed to perform some dark ritual, and we were mm. blessed by the YouTube algorithm gods last week. I think the components of that were Doctor Disrespect in the thumbnail yep. got some mm-hmm. attention, and we said we talked about him in the in the description and the acolyte. We yes. said we were going to talk about that. Uh, and so most of the feedback, mm-hmm. I feel like, was because of that. And uh, and basically, people mm. people didn't like... I mean, it came across and got flagged by YouTube as mostly they just didn't like us. But I have a mm. feeling a lot of it was they just weren't happy with what we had to say, which is fine, whatever. Yeah, because I think some of the stuff with you are saying is a bit controversial with... There are big fans of Doctor Disrespect still out there, which we've never yeah. been a fan of him. Oh, I don't think Even it was controversial. Star Wars I, do, stuff. I can see you know, they are. They're, they're passionate fans of or anti fans mm. of Star Wars in some in, yeah. in some cases, or yeah. passionate fans of the Critical Drinker as well. That was a mistake mm. I made. I the I, I listened back, and the way that I I did give a Critical Drinker video as an example of of what I thought someone had made a mistake. Um, yep. yeah, and I maintain that I do think he made a mistake. I yep. still think I still think he. Well, actually, I did some more research. <laughs> I don't know if it was a mistake. I think he maybe did it on purpose. But I did use him as an example, which yep. was was a mistake because, um, uh, yeah, people like him. And uh, well, sorry, that's not why it was a mistake. I, I made it sound like 
I thought he didn't know what he was talking about. When in actual mm. fact, I was just trying to point out that he made a mistake in one video. That's all. And it, yeah. 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 It's, it's just, yeah, we're not people got here mad to be, about it. It's just opinions. We're here for fun. Yeah. And, it, well, and it's funny because, like I said, at, at, the, at the time, and I clarified in the comment on someone mm. commented on the video and I replied and I said, mm. oh, actually, I've, I've watched these videos before. I thought they were quite funny. But after all that, I did some more research and I, I think maybe, maybe I don't like him too much anymore. <laughs> Just quietly, but um, I think he's a little, uh, yeah, yeah. I I really need to broaden who I watch. I stuff. I just watch, still just watch flat Earth and like yeah, first men order the videos and sovereign video, sovereign citizens. So I don't really see a lot of the nerdy stuff for some reason. Mm. Well, the other one, yeah. So I, well, I mean, we don't have to talk about other people. That's not not really what I want to do. I do want to talk about the acolytes some more. I want to know, have you watched any more of it? I still haven't. I just, because why, like, I'm not on the, it's a terrible show, mm -hmm. everyone should go kill themselves side. Sure. And I'm not as far on the, it's great, probably the second best Star Wars, new Star Wars we've seen. <laughs> I'm sort of in the middle of it. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not seeing the negativity. It's okay show, but it's not, doesn't yeah. have that pull to get me to go back and watch it every week, but I still do want to watch it. Yeah, look, I'm still really enjoying it. The latest episode um i don't do any spoilers or anything but it it's not spoiler to say this i don't think you know we saw mm. in episode three we saw a version of events we saw one yes. side of what happened yes we see we saw the other side we see the other side yeah and okay some of the stuff i thought was like okay cool like that that explains some stuff i was like okay that's it that's pretty oh, you got a bit far <laughs> it's just it's just fairly weak i was i was hoping for a better explanation for that but f fine i guess that's what Look, we're getting i am really hoping that uh, sometimes that happens where stuff is really disliked at start but then it grows mm. on people and gets a second leg because it's starting to sound like we're not going to get the second season well, which is uh i think i don't know i guess it depends i don't i don't know what yeah. the actual numbers are because the one thing to mm. bear in mind is that everyone's talking about this which means everybody's which watching, means it. watching it yeah which means this could still be quite lucrative for uh mm. for disney and i i think i actually think this one's going to warrant a rewatch because mm. i watched some clips of earlier episodes um just to remind myself about some stuff and there are some things that are kind of said or mentioned or something mm -hmm. that happens in earlier ones that with knowledge of other things, I was like, oh, see, it is, it is there is more going on here. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I don't know. It, I think it's, it's potentially, oops, sorry about that, pop the mic. It's, uh, I think maybe hamstrung by the fact that it's a Disney show, to be honest. Okay. Because it's like- They don't have- like, I know with Andor, they were able to go that bit further and go a bit darker, but maybe they yeah. didn't have the sort of rock they weren't allowed to with this. Like, there's some stuff, particularly in the new episode, where I'm like, oh, I get the impression that that's not quite what they wanted to do, and it kind of got may have gotten dialed back. Like, Disney said, mm -hmm. oh, come on. Like, I, 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 I can see that. This. Like, because mm. I think where Disney is really starting to focus is on the kids' stuff. Yeah. Like, well, that's what yeah, I'm saying. This is a bit confused, I think, because it seems like it wants to be more like a grown-up show, but yeah. it's still Star Wars, and Star Wars these days, overwhelmingly based on my <laughs> research, is people yes. who watch the Clone Wars and Rebels. Yes, people. Some people haven't even seen any of the movies. There are people on forums discussing this show, who are like, oh, "I might have to watch the movies," and I'm like, that "Blows my mind." That's fucking weird. That's so weird. Like, well, I go back to, like, the, the prequels. Episode one, we hated it. I, I, I went and saw it 20-something times because I really wanted yes. to not hate it. Yes, I went. Yeah. I saw it three times on the first day trying, mm. and I was, I I was, was saying denial. it was good because I was, I was. Yeah. But now. And I, I denied I'm, it for a long time. Dave, will, uh, Dave, if you're watching this, you know, I fucking denied it to your face. I was like, no, no, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I've maintained that for years until eventually I was like, yeah, no, I, I, know. Yeah, I know. We, we finally accept it. But there are people who that was their first experience with Star Wars. Yeah. No, and they yeah. like it. Yeah. And that's their Star Wars. It's funny, too, because if I watch, I've, I mean, I haven't watched it a lot, but when I pop it back on, I do have nostalgia for it now in a way. Mm. Whereas, like, like the time, yeah, it was kind of like, oh, that's. It's not what I was expecting. Whereas now, obviously, it is what I'm expecting because I've seen yeah. it. So, 
there are and parts I've seen I will just some other stuff since bit. then <laughs> come out that I'm like, oh fuck. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, Acolyte, I still recommend it. I know I've Ooh. had I've had conversations with people in real life uh, as well, not just on the internet, and and it is like opinions are very mixed on it. Like this, mm. like you, you are kind of like, yeah, it's fine. I think, I think so yeah. far, Dan said he really liked it as well. Mm. Um, I've one friend who who's like, eh, like not really into it. Another friend who's like also really into it. Like it's just, it's interesting yeah. how it's dividing the audience. And it's sort of, it's weird. You sort of think these Star Wars fans arguing against each other. Yeah, and it's all like I know, and it's the things the things people are mad about. I I do see people say stuff, and I'm like, ah. Oh, Maybe put your phone down when you're watching it next. Like, yeah, I think I think you've just you've just missed that. Like, um, well, what's but in up? other cases, people say something, and I go, you know what, that's valid, but I just I don't care. Like, but yeah, I, I still remember when like none of us have seen it, and we're getting all the feedback, and it's all about <laughs> yeah, lesbians, and they're uh, misrepresenting the force, they change uh, all this, and then when you watch it, you go, it's nothing about that. It's, I learned. A I don't lesson. know if it's yeah. people who are just going off reviews and not actually watching it and so they're getting just misguided people telling it or if they're, think they're on their phone or watching I don't want to besmirch anybody or, or like call out anybody but I've looked I've done like I said I've, I, I was watching videos not thinking about this mm. and I think it's quite lucrative to be anti-Disney right now mm. I've formed that yeah. opinion in the last week because it just seems like the most popular stuff about this show and the reason that I had only seen it like from that perspective is that mm. that's just what's in at the moment, right? And like, that's why I always tell people like watch for yourself. Don't go off what Yeah. Oh, that's, why, that's why I apologized last week. I shouldn't I should yeah. never have said anything bad about it without having seen it. That was a mistake. Yep. So And we've learnt from that. Oh we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, we'll see. I do watch a lot of YouTube, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um, that reminds me, I was, I was watch. I read an article this week which really annoyed me about Battlestar Galactica. Oh, yeah. I get articles about Battlestar Galactica, so not the reboot, Gracia. which is still oh, being made, but... Oh, oh. Oh, not the new reboot. The 2004 the, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. yeah. And they were trying to say that there's this huge plot hole that fans, mm. I think... And do you know, in the middle of the series, the Pegasus comes in. Yeah, which is the sort of the the yeah. better battle star. Yeah, yeah the fancier. And explain it to go. Hey, we we'll get we're about to get retrofitted with the new computers that guys Baltar designed, but mm. we were attacked at that stage, so that's why mm. they weren't able to hack us. Yeah, and that's why we're here. That's evidently a plot hole. It's a plot hole. Uh, what the because. The all the ships were meant to have had the upgrades already, so I mean, it's not a plot hole. It's it, you could argue it's a contrivance, I suppose. Yeah, it's not. It's certainly not a plot but hole. I was just reading. It's got what? Mm. Like they they explain it in the show. Mm. It's not really a plot hole. You can maybe like they've made that up for convenience, but yeah, it's not a plot hole. No, you could argue that it's bad writing if you want to. If you want yeah, to, not, it's certainly not a plot hole. Plot hole is something that happens that defies explanation like that's explained right yeah they've, they've that's explained they've, yeah there's no and it wasn't something that they they retrofitted later to try and make it work they explained it and even if they the did time. right all the crew every single crew member of the Battlestar of, of Galactica could have said yeah there aren't any other ships and been wrong yeah yes like perfectly because... like, I mean that's a bit cheap but perfectly reasonable well, look, are they really going to tell the Battlestar, everyone on the Battlestar that's retiring, that's going yeah. to service, everything yeah, that's happening with the, the rest the of the display fleet? display model of the old <laughs> old ships, yeah. Yeah, what a great show. But yeah, I, I just I, found that a little annoying. I thought a really good quote somebody said online, this was about the Acolyte, was that um, mm. people watch this and they think when characters behave in a way they don't like, that it's a mistake and not the plot. Like... If you just because you don't like what's happening doesn't mean it's a mistake. Mm. Like for example, the Jedi behaving in a way that makes you go, "Ooh, Jedi shouldn't do that," doesn't mean it's a mistake. It's just the plot what? of the show. You can not like it, but it doesn't mean it's like a plot hole. I was also reading something like people were complaining like that's not how the Jedi are portrayed in like the prequels and stuff. Well, no, that 
this is set like a hundred years ago as well. Also, there's going to be slight differences. Things change over time. They are like, oh, Sith now. There's no Sith. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. And then, meanwhile, the fucking Emperor of the Galaxy is a, is a Sith yeah. Lord. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. We've Look, got some follow up. We do. Big news I today. Need breaking to news. Watch this. You do. You do. I just spent. I told you guys, just right before this, I spent two hours on the treadmill watching footage from this because I was like, I have to to find out what happened. Court cases are amazing to watch, aren't they? If you find the right one. This was fascinating. So Alec Baldwin, Rust, Mm -hmm. charged with manslaughter, case dismissed with prejudice. Oh, so there's no coming back. Missed. He is innocent. Because- The big one in that is with prejudice. Yeah, it's done. Because that's yeah, you can't come back and have a second. Because the judge said, because of what happened, it's not possible to rectify the situation at this point. It is not possible to go back. So what happened? Okay. Apparently, so in February, the armorer Mm -hmm. Hannah Gutierrez was found guilty of yes. uh, Manslaughter, second degree murder. I forget exactly what it was. I think it was manslaughter, which she was like. Well, irresponsible. Well, maybe. Because okay. when that happened in March, a man went into the Santa Fe, I think Santa Fe, went into the sheriff's office, right? Mm-hmm. And said, I would like to turn in some evidence that I was given by Hannah Gutierrez's defense to hold on to after the shooting incident occurred. I was told that these are the bullets from set, the live rounds from set. I was told that there was a plot to have her fired and someone had planted these live rounds in order to have that happen. And I was told by her defense that somebody would come and collect these and they never did. I've just seen that she was found guilty and I want to hand these in and I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Okay. (sighs) That seems a bit (laughs) far-fetched. It does. It does. Right. Fair enough. Mm. Problem is... You still have to report it. And what happened was they took the bullets and the statement. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, whether intentional or otherwise, for whatever reason, they filed it under a completely different case number and it disappeared. Okay. But then Alec Baldwin's defense found out about it and argued, well, we could have used that. And that's so there's a Brady violation. Whether mm. accidental or intentional, they withheld evidence that they were supposed to tell us about. Um, they said, so there's like a bunch of different criteria you have to meet, but basically, I'm not a lawyer. Um, but I'm the gist of it was, the gist of it was, it, it was, it was help withheld, whether intentional mm. or otherwise. It was helpful to the defense, which it would have been, right? That statement. To him? It was never investigated. Be- yeah, yeah. Because yeah. What, cause what they're trying to prove is that he had no idea, could not have known that there was any expectation there would be a bullet Especially in the gun. Especially if it was and the, that. Okay. The idea that mm. there was some kind of conspiracy to get the armor fired would actually just give introduces some doubt. doubt. Yes. Correct. And so, therefore, could have been beneficial. And as the judge said, we'll never know. It's too late now. You fucked it up. Like, it should have been investigated at the time. And either but dismissed can or- she now use it on- for her appeal that don't know about that maybe yeah uh, and the other thing was um the, the reason you should watch the video footage is because it's really interesting because they're questioning the, the defense is questioning the woman who um the like crime scene investigator who took possession that took the bullets and that and she said oh yeah there's no reason to suspect that they're the bullets from the set or whatever and the judge literally says go get them i want to see them and so they bring in this fucking package of bullets and she get, put they all put gloves on and she makes the, them go through and then they put the bullets with the bullets, like the bullets from oh, the wow. set and they put them together and she goes, they're the same bullets. Guys, you fucked up. <laughs> like, you should have investigated this. See, I think this puts more doubt on her conviction than really dismissing this. It Well, it, yeah. The, the big thing with this is that it just raises too much doubt like that's mm. as it, the, the jury saw all this the judge said that yeah. this case is fucked now yeah like there's, there's no going back it's yeah well and I still- and, and, and potentially yeah it could 
I mean, I have no idea. Oh, oh, and sorry, not only that, somebody somebody resigned. Like the prosecutor, I think, resigned like today after this happened. I could be wrong about who it is. Ooh. But I, I, re- I, I saw this just before. Like somebody involved resigned as a result of this. Okay. So I wonder what this is going to do for the civil case. Hmm. Well. Is, or has that yeah. been settled yet or is that still ongoing? Because sure. remember, civil has a very different uh, level that you yeah. need to go. It's not beyond reasonable doubt. It's Yeah, maybe it's still going to go on. I, I honestly think if that hasn't been settled yet, it will end up being settled. I think there will be money paid just for that to go away. Mm. Oh, do you know the, the other big thing was, I f- sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, apparently there was a meeting to decide whether these bullets would be included in with the rust evidence or if they would be put somewhere else. And the prosecutor was present during the meeting and the judge was like, you fucked up. <laughs> that is most likely why he is now resigned. <laughs> she, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, like, yeah, like. That is not good. Yeah, not a good look. But I still, unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. Like, I, I honestly, I don't think he is guilty to this level. But I think, mm-hmm. no. But it is unfortunate. And, and who knows think, if any of that horse shit story is true? Yeah, and that's because apparently the people are now saying, "Oh, that guy is a friend of her dad or whatever." It's like doesn't matter. The guy still went in and said this. It should have been included. Should in have been all investigated. The but yeah. really, it, it wouldn't have taken long to go. No, nah, this is bullshit. Yeah, it just raises too much doubt. And and, and the fact that it was like hidden is mm, like like yeah, that's the oh the other thing i learned too do you know the gun the actual gun was mm-hmm. like destroyed by the fbi crime lab they don't have it anymore How why did they that? destroy it they didn't mean to it oh. was accidentally destroyed by the lab so weird there's just so many things at this that it's like what yeah it's a pretty weird case to be honest mm. I think maybe they're all like this and this is just of particular interest because it's like a movie thing but Oh, I don't. I don't think they often guns get destroyed by accident. I wouldn't have thought so. But then maybe I don't know. When they test them, do they like wreck them? That's what it sounds like. It happened. Like they, they were doing tests on it, and it. Well, I've only seen them testing like, guns as in from it broke television and, and shows. then was destroyed. Like as in they yeah. got they, they were like oh this is fucked and got rid of it. Like yeah, like weird. the destroyed part seems weird. Like that's even if it was broken, you'd go. It's still part of an investigation. Mm. But I don't know. Even maybe maybe there's testimony guns. about that. I'll have to go back and there's just there's like two days worth of testimony, and I just saw clips of yeah two hours of the interesting stuff. So and it was very interesting. Uh, I might watch it. What I really want to be, I want to. I might save it to when I'm back in hospital. When's that? I think I'm going back in September. Okay. Because that way I can sit there and just watch the entire thing. That's a while away, but yeah, yeah. No, I can't wait that long. I want to know. I wonder if they're going to televise uh, Carl Jobs versus Billy Mitchell. I'd like to watch that. Oh, I'd love to. I don't think they will. Yeah, we vote. No. No one gives a shit except us. Well, <laughs> you'd be surprised the amount of court cases that they do stream these days. Yeah. Well, maybe they will. That'd be all right. Yeah. Is it, is it being because it's being trialed here or is it being trialed in America? I don't know where it's, no, it's even it's here. That's the that's why he's so yeah, confident he's, is that you can't yeah. just walk away from it here. And they don't really stream yeah. trials in Australia. Yeah, it's more right. of an American thing at the moment. I remember, wasn't it um, uh, Paradise Lost? Like for a long time, they stopped um, letting cameras in after that documentary mm. because it just caused so much hassle that they. Accidentally convicted three innocent people, and everyone. But then, found out then I it. think with COVID, with the when everything went onto Zoom and stuff, and mm. you had to still be able to show cases, like you mm-hmm. still couldn't, you couldn't hide it. Mm. And a lot of courts in America are still just, yeah, we're on Zoom. People mm. can watch it if they want. Have you seen that video? Did we talk about this? There's a video where the guy is uh, in his court. He, he joins the, the Zoom meeting for his court thing. Yes. He's driving. Did we talk about that? I don't think we have. That is Judge Simpson's court. I watch him okay. a little bit. And that was hilarious. And there's follow-on to that. So this guy, he's there for driving without a license. Mm-hmm. The judge goes, are you driving at the moment? He's, yeah, yeah, I'm just parking Just now. on my way to work. He I'm goes, just- 
<laughs> and he goes, the guy doesn't even realize what he's saying. It's so funny. Um, you can't be driving, so I expect you to go to jail now. Like, just go mm. turn yourself in. After, and that's the end of the clip. Mm-hmm. After that, he goes and gets a lawyer. He goes to the news. He goes, I did have a license. And there's this whole mm. thing. And even like a um, moist critical, he even came out because he spoke about it and went, I was wrong. He did have a license. There was all this stuff. Huh. He didn't have a license when he went back again and ended up going back to jail again after this <laughs> because he didn't have a license and he knew this and it wasn't just some administrative thing. He'd been going and getting an ID card for years and he didn't have a license, but he lied, went to the news and he huh. got sent back to jail for a second time because of it. Okay, so it's he great. said he had a license, went to the news, but actually didn't have a license. Didn't have a license. Fucking hell. All right. <clears throat> well, that's even funny. Yeah. Mm. Um, I played a game recently. Did you? I think you should play it. Is it the one that's in here under games at the top there? Yes, still wakes the deep. It's, I saw that this was in here, and I is this a new game? It's new. Uh, okay, that explains why. Hey, it's just all over my my feeds at the moment, uh, but yeah. not in a way that I knew it was new. Just everybody's posted in live let's plays of it, and I thought maybe it was just some hidden gem. But yeah, no, no it's been about a month or two. Um, it's on Game on, Pass. This is the one on the um, oil rig. Oil rig. Yeah, yeah, it's. Not a super long game. It's not a super hard game. It's just a really interesting game. Okay. I thought it's a horror game, correct? It's a horror game. Okay. And what was the other thing? It's a bit... It's more like a walking simulator. Oh, like Dear Esther or um, one of those. Um, yeah, it's like there's a bit of jumping, bit of swimming, but it's not like a, it's not high intensity. It's not... Uh, not like a looter shooter. <laughs> no. Right. No, I just... Really fun, really interesting. I really recommend that you play it. All right. It certainly mm. seemed like something I'd be interested in. Very yeah. narrative heavy, like story. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, what was that other game we spoke about recently? That one with like Bioshock. This. Oh, oh I haven't. Pl- I didn't play it. I don't think. But you guys were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's it. a the bit one that like looks, that just looks like Bioshock. It's more, yeah, it's more story than right than gameplay. <gasps> than gameplay. Mm-hmm. Not in a bad way though. Like no, they're no, still, I'm, you're I'm still okay walking that, around investigating and yeah. But no, like, definitely uh, worth home, a try. Gone home was a bit of a walking simulator in a way. Yeah, it's it's probably it's probably not giving it. It's a bit of an just say walking simulator. There's a I bit know. more to yeah, it, yeah, but sure, yeah, it's sure, sure. but yeah, it's not it's not like you're going to be get frustrated at some part that's too hard or mm-hmm. anything. It's you're yeah. not going to get lost. Is the main thing. Okay. I watched a video about a game where you drive a car into a post-apocalyptic world and i don't remember the name of it your car gets like sucked into this like ooh. uh you know what <laughs> what was it called uh I, I need more to go on car game it's Pacific Drive? Pacific yeah, Drive? Yeah, Pacific Drive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the first one that came up in my social well. four survival game by Ironwoods Studios and developed by Kepler Interactive. Set in the Pacific Northwest where the player traverses on foot or in a station wagon as they attempt to find a way to escape. Yeah, you get, like, sucked into this, like, um, almost like chernobyl kind of uh, exclusion zone type thing. Okay. Mm. That does sound interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it looked really cool. Can you stop headbutting my microphone, please? I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, and also, don't put your butt on it. You say that now, but as soon as the stream record <laughs> stops recording, <laughs> he's going to be like, "Put your butt on the microphone." <laughs> All right, I might keep an eye out for this. Yeah, no, no, it looked really good from the. I, 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 I did this thing where, like, and also I saw some clips, like I said, of Still Wakes the Deep, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch this because I want to play it. Like, it looks You want to play it, yeah. Mm. Sometimes and, I don't, but. You know, no, this one I, th- I honestly think you will enjoy. Yeah. But yeah, it looks while good. we're on games mm. and they're going on to hard games, have you seen mm. all the controversy about Elden Ring? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
I did. Uh, I saw Asmongold um, said that it was too hard, the DLC or something, and then people were laughing yes. at him, and then he finished it anyway, and then he said, actually, it wasn't that hard <laughs> or something. Some people have been coming out saying it's too hard. Some people have been making a joke that it's easy, and then some people have been complaining, okay. well, no, it's not. I mean, I've played the main game, and I, I'd be surprised if the DLC is easy because <laughs> the main game is certainly not fucking easy. Yeah, I, I, I tried to play it, and it's, it's not for me. It's I'm mm. not... You need to be patient, and I think that's the big problem with that game. I don't find it fun. No, to be honest, I, I, I sure if you like that kind of thing, fine. But I just don't find it fun at yeah, all. Yeah, these Souls games. I why are people trying to punish themselves? Mm, I'm too old for this stuff. Yeah, I don't have time. But this mm. is actually leading on to Alana Pierce. Oh yeah. So Fellow I don't Australian. know why I'm not. A, she's Australian. I'm not a fan of her, and I think it's because oh. she's Australian and she does a job that I want. Oh, sure. I think it's just jealousy more than anything. There was anything. a very brief period where she was a peer at, like, EB Expo, and then she was just too famous and yes. too cool for us. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Um, she got in a bit of trouble when she was talking about it. Yeah. Oh. And people clipped her when she was talking about disabilities. Oh, I and saw this. The thing about having kids. Yeah, and people mm, clipped it I to be she's saying that kids are a disability, and she's yeah, she not did she not meant. say that. <laughs> that's not what she meant. No, no, no. <laughs> there is mm. such a thing. I think it's called like situational disability. Mm. So she's saying like she's not saying kids are a disability, but the fact that there are kids running around can mm. affect like your ability to play games. So having like a pause button. Yes. That's why I, I, I saw it on like threads or somewhere. Someone said, mm. all she's saying is it would be helpful for people with kids if there was a pause button so they could hit yes. pause and give their kids a snack or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If they're running around and yeah, and, and there is such a thing as situation disability, but no, people are just, they have one idea of a disability and it's someone in a wheelchair. I'm disabled. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which there's not. I am proud to say I am disabled. <laughs> I'm proud to say. I'm proud to say yep. you're disabled too. That's why I go by cripple. Listeners can guess how, <laughs> in what way Luke is disabled. It's by huge penis. It's it's a real pain in the ass. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just really annoying. And this, mm. I think, this goes back to like the internet just jumping on things without knowing context. Because the clip that went around that yeah, people they, were complaining they cut it about, out of context, was, yeah. Yeah, it was like a 30-second clip of, like, an hour-long thing she was discussing. Mm -hmm. And if you had had the lead-up to what she was discussing and how she was explaining it, mm. it makes total sense, but no. Yeah, I've seen people, like, streamers in particular say, it, you, that apparently there's, like, phases of this where you start out and you don't think about it, and then someone will clip you out of context and you go, oh, I have to watch what I say, but eventually you reach the point where it's like, I have to just not worry about this. You can't. People will clip me out of context no matter what yeah. I do. So I might as well just fucking give up and just speak and yeah. don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's a shame it is that way. But it does make for interesting conversations sometimes. I know, but it's so dishonest. Like It really is. Uh, yeah. And the problem is, is like with the whole thing of a lot of people only get their news from those 30 second clips. I know. That's now fact. Yeah. That. Kids are a disability. Yep. Well, look. Yep. And that's what Alana thinks. The Acoly Ac Ac is a show about space lesbians. Fact. Space lesbians. Yep. Fact. Yep. Disabled space lesbians. Mm hmm. Right. You pick something to talk about. <laughs> you pick something to talk about. I've been hogging the show. Oh, don't be like that. Um, <sighs> Neil Gaiman. Oh. I don't like this. No, I don't like it either. Hey, but you've got a, you know, I've, I've 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 read the allegations and I've read his alleged response. So I haven't read. Okay, so Neil Gaiman what? has been accused uh, of mm. sexual assault. Sexual assault. Yeah, yeah that that is. How yeah, it's, it. and yeah, he, yeah. That is what he's accused of. Um, there's a podcast that came out mm. that uh, interviews two women who say that Neil sexually assaulted them. They had a consensual relationship up, up to a point, but then he went, got a bit rough. He went, yeah, went too far during sexual encounters or something like that. Yeah. And um, 
the weird thing is that he not weird i guess he's not denying that any of it happened. yeah his defense isn't uh it, it was defense is that like well it, it wasn't it, it was consensual yeah thanks very much like that's his defense and so, yeah it's not a i mean real good defense it's well, uh, it, it isn't it isn't right because it's like, yeah i mean i mean prove it one way or another like and unfortunately it might be the best defense even if he did something wrong like how would you ever prove that yeah but uh, uh, for everybody me, it agrees that it was consensual it's just that yeah, he's saying like, it was consensual but but then you hear like one yeah. of the stories like it's like the girl where we had like a three-week relationship who was the babysitter that's 20 years younger that, oh, and it was no question ill-advised and yeah and i would say come on mate that's not appropriate like the, the nanny and a, and, a, and a fan that he met at a signing like mm -hmm. come on mate like like you, it's this it's the power dynamic which it is yeah it's a. Uh, yeah, you can't really with a fan. I think can be a little bit different. I don't know. You've got to be so careful, though. You've got to be careful. Well, like, not careful. No, but I guess he's saying he was. I guess that's, that's his I, argument. I was that, that he was careful. A, he was said, but you know, a, you know yeah, what this is. I think is. there is a difference between a fan and an employee. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, the nanny, like an employee, especially when she says like it was I was the there nanny. for three hours and he was. Come on, the nanny, mate. Yeah, not good. Um, no. And it's a shame because and this is one of those cases where there's been a couple of, like Danny Elfman was one of these two, where it's someone that I have I've respected and admired for so long that I, my instinct was just like, no, no, not him. But then it's like, no, come on. Like, yeah, could be anybody. So we have to wait. To, and the other thing is that I should clarify, I haven't oh. actually seen him say anything i've only no. heard what they say he said when he was contacted have, which is not the same thing there is one thing that i don't like and it's something i've heard that he said is like the police investigated they found no wrongdoing Ooh. but when they reached out to the police in new zealand they went no we're trying to get in contact with them we've Ooh. had no response oh okay interesting hmm which is that, yeah, there's a big difference between the police reaching out and not getting a response to not a police of they cleared me. it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> is that why he fled New Zealand back to Scotland during the pandemic? We talked about that, didn't we? He got in trouble I, because he, he, he his house in Scotland is on the Isle of Skye, which is like a very it's, sorry, it's a small island. Mm. It's not the smallest island, but it's quite it is a small it's, island. It's a small community. Yeah. Yes. And um at the start of the pandemic, he and Amanda Palmer had a big enough disagreement over something mm -hmm. that he left New Zealand, um, mm -hmm. managed to pull a few strings, got a flight back, drove a car from London, borrowed a car from somebody, drove from London up to Scotland, back to Sky, and then got a knock on the door from the police saying, mate. What are you doing? What are you You're doing? Just endangered everybody on this fucking mm -hmm. island. So, hmm. um, yeah, and it, well, it is sort of around that time, and maybe that's why the police can't get in contact. Interesting. Mm. I, I'm, so, to be clear, I'm not accusing him of anything. I just remembered that. I just I literally just remembered that that happened. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm just remembering that that happened, and it it is around the same time period. So. Power really, corrupt. Maybe that's what he and Amanda had the argument about. Is that he's fucking the nanny? Could be. Who knows? No. No, he but they had an open relationship. Stuff. They had an open relationship. So it's he not odd that he was fucking stuff. somebody, but it, it's what? He only did hand stuff with the nanny. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. That's what I saw. Mm. Hand stuff. <laughs> 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 they just held hands. That's what you mean, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Consensually held hands. And he got a bit oh. rough and smushed her hand. Yeah, he just held on a bit too tightly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it, it's a shame. And in, Nick Sinil is someone who's, who, whose work I admired and I thought I admired as a person. And it's just a shame to learn, you know. It's not a shame that... It's a shame that he's done it at all. It's not a shame that Correct. we know about it. It's a, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah. I didn't mean that... I. 
Yeah. I, all I meant was um, I'm, yeah. I'm saddened by it. Let's, let's yes. say that. Because, yeah. Like, yeah. I had, it's somebody I had a lot of respect for. And this just isn't something I respect at all. No. Because no. it's not hard to not assault people. It's I really have, not. I would have thought it was quite simple to not do that. Yeah. But just don't. Who knows? And then also, so these two, these both of these situations, I feel like, like at what point do you get so famous that you're like, oh, this is probably all right, isn't it? When it's clearly fucking not all right, mm. not appropriate. The situation that you're in is not appropriate. Like, like, yeah, why like, do you lose sight of that? And I'm really mm. thinking from the articles that I've read, it does seem like it started off consensual, but I think he's just into weird shit. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. And then I think. It, it, I mean, he goes. Part yeah, of me hopes it's I don't just know. a misunderstanding. But I guess if, if they if if they really think like I don't mean this to sound. I mean, if they genuinely you know feel like he's sexually assaulted, then that's horrible. And yeah. hopefully everybody can learn from this and it cannot happen anymore. But we'll yes, see, I guess. If, and if, yeah. if, if he didn't know, well, then. Now he does. Fucking learn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then anybody else out there who <laughs> <laughs> pay attention, right? Stop it. <laughs> the second someone's in pain and says no, correct. You stop. Yeah. You stop. <laughs> yes. Stop it. Cut All right. it out. This is what right. happens when you let me pick a pick Yeah, a I know. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna back to games. Mm. And accessibility. This is gonna be interesting. So Dragon Age, I don't know if I like Dragon Age anymore. I oh, yeah. somebody wrote in, um, Nate wrote in and said because we commented on the E three trailer thing, and I said it looked a bit shit. Um, mm. Apparently, the gameplay trailer looks good, and I didn't. Uh, to be fair, I just remembered that, and I haven't watched it yet. So hopefully, he's correct. All right, sure, watch that. But yeah, they're, they're evidently they're bringing in something which is, I think it's making very making sure it's very different from Baldur's Gate three. There's a no okay. death mode. What does that mean? I, I think it means that you just you can't, can't die. Die, and one of your companions can't die, which is Baldur's Gate three. Like if you make a wrong choice, oh sure, yeah, your companions just die dead. instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're having a no death mode. As in, if you lose all your hit points, you just don't die. Like I guess I'm just interested what the um, consequences of having that on are like. Do you I don't just know respawn earlier or like that's, I don't know. that seems fine. Like if so you. He, he, I don't think it's respawn. Because, um, what is it? We'll have a range of options to help the style of how we'll, you'll play with Dragon mm. Age, the Veil vale Guard, also letting you turn off death if you prefer. So I think it is just a uh, God mode. Interesting. God mode is quite different from what I was thinking. Because I was thinking it's, you know, more well, like, well, even like I'd say something like Elden Ring, for example, doesn't really have death, right? You get killed, yeah. but then you just appear, you know, at the last place you attuned, what do you call that? You rested or whatever. Is that, but I guess that's like loading a save game in a way. But it's a little bit different way because then not, you though. have to go back and you go get your experience that's back. That's what I'm saying. It's like not that. like well, just loading a save this. game. It's quite, it's a bit this different is, to that. Yeah, this is very much letting you turn off death, interesting. which means I don't think you, you can don't die. die. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I I'm actually not against it. No, no, because it's fine as long as if that's what you want to do, fine. I guess. Well, I don't have time to play long games like this anymore. So yeah, that's fair. <laughs> having that there, I've not played Baldur's Gate three in a long time. Actually, I uh, not want, I want to play to. it, but I know I can't. It's just so time consuming. Hannah's on her second playthrough and he's still mm. loving it. And Yeah. Does she play like, other stuff as well or is she just doing no, that kind of thing? Just just Baldur's yeah. Gate. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a game you can't it's not a game you can jump on for like half an hour and play. You've got to have three hours spare. Yeah, yeah, I just don't and these days. Regularly. Yeah. So, yes. I, like the last Dragon Age I didn't play. Mm. I've tried and I just couldn't get into it. The Inquisition, I think it was. I liked Inquisition. I got, I didn't finish it, but I got quite, I think, quite far in it, and I did really enjoy it. Um, in fact, I'd can, I've 
considered going back to it, but it's one of those mm. things where it's like such a big game that it's like, yeah, you're not going back to your last save. You're going to have to start again. Because- that would be hard. Yeah, that would be difficult because I don't remember anything. The games are pretty good, I guess, at reminding you now. It might be possible, but um, I think I would want to restart because you want to have the momentum. Yeah. Rather than just kind of cold stuff. But then you where you run were five years thing. ago or whenever it was. Yeah, you you run into that same thing where you'll get that momentum and then you'll get distracted by something else and then you oh, probably yeah. stop at about the same point. I mean, I haven't like I said I haven't played Baldur's Gate three in a long time. I haven't played Alan Wake two in over a week. Oh god. I played you, it you, like well, I was in Vermont for Yeah, oh, yeah. You need to finish that. And then, you know, I haven't played you, you it. You need to go, go back. back to that. Yeah, no, no, I will. It's just yeah. I haven't had time for that. I've been too busy watching Alec Baldwin in court on the treadmill. Hey, court the cases treadmill. are interesting. I don't know. And watching the Acolyte. On, well, all on the treadmill. So Maybe easy I to justify that stuff when I'm trying to lose some weight at the same time. So Yeah. No, I liked, I, I, I've liked all the other Dragon Age games. I loved more, one and two. So, it's just that, that that trailer for this one mm. just seemed a bit off. But as I said, I should watch the gameplay video because apparently that looks more in line with what you would expect. Yes. I'm looking forward mm. to it. I think it comes out this year, does it? It's because it's been a long time. Is it this year? Please be this year. It's been far too long. <laughs> um. I'm trying to find out. Oh, I clicked on the wrong yeah, article. Fall I was like, 24. Is- fall 24. All right. Which is... Oh, like- that's soon. Yeah, yeah. That's like... August, September. Yeah. October. God. Yeah, something here doesn't last that long. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's fucking hot here right now, though. Yeah? It's very humid here in a way that it never was in Sydney. It's like just so humid here. No, I, mm. I I understand humid and humid is Vietnam. <laughs> the war. <laughs> no, it was a sweating through two to three shirts a day. Yeah. Okay, probably it's not that bad. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I'm inside in the air conditioning right now. If I was to go outside, it's quite bad. So, And in Vermont, we don't have any air conditioning. So that makes it a bit worse. A bit worse? You should get worse. some. Yeah, it costs money. Yeah, and can, can you justify it for, like, going there for a weekend? Yes, you can. Well, we Aircon is amazing. Yeah, we might go there more often if we had it. So, you know what? I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up at the next family meeting. <laughs> if you all share the cost, it'll be pretty cheap. Yeah, that's, that's how we've been doing everything. It's pretty worked out pretty well. And you can f- use the argument, we'll go there more often. we got a foosball table. <gasps> yeah, we got a table tennis and we got a foosball table. Now, you have to come visit, man. I want to. All right, uh, all right, I'm coming to PAX East, not next year. I'll come in 2026. All right. Because I want to go back to Vietnam next year around PAX East time, so. Oh, really? Hmm. I you really like enjoyed so Vietnam. Yeah, okay. All right. It's great. Good. Loved it. Is there something in particular you want to do around that time, or you just enjoyed it? I don't know. It's just a good time, and I'm also trying to plan hospital visits around it. Oh, sure. Because I, I think I planned it. This time I planned at the wrong time. It was just after Mm. my pain started to spike. Oh, okay. So this time, and I've put off going back to hospital till now just to, so I'm going to go to Temba and then I'll go just before we go back to Vietnam. So Mm -hmm. I'll be enjoying a bit more. Like you you do different areas or you do? Probably going to do the same tour group, but a slightly different tour. Interesting. Okay. So the tour we did last time included a night train. Oh, yeah. The night train is dirty. (laughs) Right. There's another tour that we can do that doesn't do the train. It just flies you to the next destination. So it's still sort of the same sort of areas, but yeah. Hmm. And there's one part where I actually want to ask if I can just hire a bike. Like a scooter type bike. A scooter, yeah. Yeah, Or a motorcycle. Um, just we rode a, uh, we drove a bus over this mountain, and it's just like the perfect roads to ride a bike mm. up and over. And I really just want to do that. That guy, um, C ninety Adventures. What's it, Ed something or other? He used to do. So there's a guy on YouTube who I, who I, mm. I really enjoy his videos. He did. Uh, 
his first, I guess, adventure was that he took his uh, Honda C90, you know, like, a, you know, what yep. that is. Yeah. Uh, he took it. He, he's, he's British. He flew with it to Southeast Asia somewhere. Mm -hmm. And and this was a long time ago, like in the in the two, 2010s, maybe. Uh, okay. and, he, and he drove, he rode it back to England. Um, and with all that, that entails through like the Middle East and, and mm -hmm. India and fucking everywhere. Like he basically rode it all the way back and, um, and filmed it and he made a documentary yeah. and, uh, won some awards. And now he has a YouTube channel and he did another trip where they went from, um, Canada. I think they started up in the North in, in Alaska, sorry. And then okay. came went all the way across and then down and all the way down and down to Argentina, basically all, all America. And then, yep. yeah. And then just on a C90, and people were like, oh, why a C90? Like why that? Why not some kind of nice fancy bike? And he said, because I can fix this anywhere ah, with an elastic yeah. band. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like I will get, I can get parts that will fix this anywhere. Whereas if I'm yeah. in the middle of, you know, he said like in, in the fucking desert in the Middle East somewhere and my fancy, you know, Triumph, whatever, Himalaya, whatever yeah. breaks down, what are you going to do? There's no parts anywhere. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. No, yeah. In Vietnam, there's just the couple of roads I want, I want to drive. Most of the country, I would not because I value mm. my life. Well, he does tours. That's what I was going to say. Uh, for He's got videos okay. of them where basically you can email him mm. and see if he's available. And he basically will get you and a bunch of other people together. And he's done Vietnam before. I know that for a fact. Where he'll say, meet me in this city. We'll go and I'll come with you and we'll buy bikes in the city cheap. Yeah. And I'll help you pick the ones that we want. And basically, it's yep. all C90s and stuff like that. And then we'll just ride across the whole country. And he just kind of runs the whole thing for you. That kind of sounds fun because I like- It looks fun. It looks like- I want to do it. On paper- I would like it. I think in reality, I probably wouldn't, but because I, well, I, I ride, don't like so. being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but I ride and I enjoy riding. Sure. So, mm. And that's why there's just it's like there's one part where I've gone, the roads are perfect, it's uphill, the curves are nice. Mm -hmm. Really want to do it. Looks beautiful, the, the country. So, mm. Mm. And the beer, my God, great beer. With an egg. Not tiger beer. Tiger beer. Isn't that Thai? I don't know. Or am everyone I just thinking that because it's got the word Thai in it? Tiger. I don't know. Everyone sells, whenever I talk about the beer there, they go, oh, tiger beer. I'm, no, I, there's so many other beers there and there's all different beers all down the country. It's great. Yeah. Tiger beer is a beer. My favorite beer from Vietnam is Huda. Singapore. Tiger beer is Singapore. from Singapore. Dan would have known that if he was here. Yeah. Owned but by we Heineken. fired him. Because <laughs> 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 there's some fuckwit on YouTube. <laughs> some idiot Not with a some... Homelander avatar on YouTube. Excuse me. He's someone who gave us valuable feedback. Sorry. I didn't mean one person gave us valuable feedback. And you can see it because I left it on there. A lot of other people just told us to go fuck off and kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Those comments did not get approved. YouTube flagged them. We didn't them delete them. I, we just no, didn't no. approve them. Correct. Yeah. There were some that I was like, I, I tried to be fair about it. I was like, does this add any value? <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I said to you before, there were some that I was like, it's funny, but I can see why YouTube's flagged it. So I'm just gonna next leave it. time. Let me decide. All right, I'll be the All voice right. of reason. Which so is what scary. are we gonna do? Uh, so listeners, um, we have a Patreon, and we would we love do. It if you would support us over on the Patreon. Uh, do you want to keep doing the videos on YouTube? Will Will I this do. conversation we're having right now go on YouTube? Do you think? I think You'll so. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I cool. think we'd be crazy not to. All right. I'm happy to do it. Keep it simple. Put it out there, right. and they will come. Who? The the they. Homelander avatar people yeah. telling us to kill ourselves. <laughs> yes, they will come. <laughs> they will come, and they will tell us to do that. Or um, 
you're on the internet, people are going to tell you to kill yourself. That's just yeah, how, how the happens. internet is. Mm-hmm. Clippers make it sound like we're pedos or whatever. Yep. It's how it works. Yep. That's what, that's what the internet's for. <laughs> I actually, I will admit, the first time I used the internet, I just tried to see Gillian Anderson naked. It used to be a lot harder to find stuff like that. Now, with the advent of AI, I imagine that's probably mm. quite easy to find. Yeah, but I don't want. I don't want that. I want. I saw a funny clip. This is it's on Threads or something. It was a funny. I might have been Reddit. It was like um, what we thought AI was going to be like in the future, and it was a picture of the T. You know, the T-800s from Terminator, the, the, the skeletons yep. from Terminator. And uh, and that said what AI is actually like. And it was a picture of, it was censored, but it was like fucking Jennifer Lawrence with Emma Watson with fucking, like, <laughs> <laughs> they're all like making out. And it's <laughs> mm-hmm. it's yeah. sort of true. It's, well, it's one of those things. Porn is the thing that sort of advances stuff very quickly. <laughs> brings us all together. Well, that's why v- we have we went to VHS over Betamax. Is that why? Yeah, because the porn industry picked it. Because porn industry went VHS. Yeah, there you go. Didn't know that. Well, so- and uh, VR. I'm assuming they're responsible for the success of that, right? Well, what, who? What else do you use? I don't. I've tried VR. I don't. <laughs> never enjoyed it so what did you try i didn't try porn on it so maybe that's why i didn't enjoy it i played poker oh yeah strip poker no just normal poker Mm. i had to give up because it made me want to smoke (laughs) because you could actually you could buy like cigars and cigarettes and you'd go like this and then you move your hand away and smoke would come out and it was that's oh this is bringing back memories hmm I the the I, I've talked about this before. I'm sure the I have the PS five VR. And, yes. Um, Gran Turismo on that is so good. Mm. It's just so much fun. Like the the like because when the game's installing, it just you do this race in a convertible, and it's just so interesting. Like you could be sat inside and it's the middle of the night in the dark. It'd be put this thing on, and then you suddenly you're in a convertible. In like the sun's shining down, sun it, it just like it, like it, it your body reacts mm. to like what you're seeing in a way that I didn't expect. Like it's, it's just like oh, I'm, oh, how refreshing when it's like no, I'm still sat in the fucking dark. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just really yeah, it's interesting. No, I that, did that, have that an, game's great. I did have an Oculus Rift. I gave it away because I wasn't using it, but I don't mm. know. I think. I might try it again another few years. Yeah. Once there's more for it, or once Xbox decide it's worth a try. The PS uh, that you can play um Resident Evil, the Village, and and mm. uh, probably the others too. But I tried the uh, played the demo of the Village, and I was like, Pfft, I don't think I could play this. <laughs> it's, it's too much. I think it's good. Yeah, I think you got to find the right game. And I think driving games are perfect for it. Because driving, I remember. I remember th- we've talked about this before. That you, do you play the village? I I couldn't get into it. I, I've Dan, I know Dan also. I got the, the, to the village. The bit with the fetus. I don't didn't know get that, that I far. Could, I just don't know if my mind could handle that in VR. Mm. Probably I'm aware of it now, but I think if I had been playing that game for the first time, I would have literally panicked because I, I even on a, on a controller on a TV, I ran and hid in a closet in the game and just paused the game and like. Had to take well, a break. there have been games which it's now are in VR out. that, are, like Outlast, you can play that in VR. Oh, I yeah. played that game once. I got to the first jump scare and I uninstalled the game. <laughs> and this that not, was just me playing it, not in VR. This is not, the, the thing is, too, it's not even a jump scare, this thing. It's just so disturbing. Mm-hmm. It, and it really got, un- it, like, you know, I just I just had to, like, stop and, like, and be like, okay, <laughs> What, what is real life? You know what I mean? Like, it just it really got to me. So, yeah, imagine that in VR. That's yeah. what I'm saying, where, where, yeah. I, where it's like I can't get away from it. Like, Yeah. <laughs> even if I look away, I, I'm just looking at the back of the cupboard that I'm hiding in. Like, hmm. Yeah. That's a good game, though. I'm not, not, 
I'm not going to deny yeah, that. I like That's seven. I don't know. Village, I, th- I don't think I got far enough in. Mm. I think that was the problem. I got to, I don't know if I got to the village village. I got to a village. It's got like distinct the... themed areas. Like you go, yeah, you get to a village and then you yeah. go to like the vampire castle. Yeah, I didn't get to the to... castle. Okay. No, well, yeah. The... I mean, that shit's great. And then. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. And then you go from there to, is it the haunted house that's after that or the doll thing? I think that might be the one I'm talking I was thinking of the really creepy one might be after that, but it's, it's right. just these distinct themed areas. It's good. Maybe I should just install it again and just force myself to play a bit further because seven I really liked, but also mm. that was a bit slow for me as well. Seven's the hillbilly one, right? Yeah. 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 I finished that. That was good. You- All right. I'll have a look. Mm. I'm installing that was also it now. Quite disturbing. Quite disturbing. Mm. It's fucking disturbing, but, <laughs> but it was good. Hmm. Oh, no, yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there was some intense stuff in that game. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they announced a new one. Wait, they that's have? Not that's not in here. Yeah, they just announced uh, 9, I guess. Yeah, new Resident Evil. Brand Is Spanker. it really Resident Evil? What do you mean? Or are they using the name? Because I know with 7 and the village, it was the same person. Yeah, the story continues on. It and is? it's got Chris Redfield in it. Okay. And some other people. Yeah, it, it okay. is supposed to be a continuation. I'm not quite clear on how it relates to <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the earlier ones. I don't, because the plot of those was pretty loosey goosey. I think but, it's um, just there's a corporation called Umbrella, so they're all connected. Yeah. yeah. But um, one. Yeah, the, the village has a lot of supernatural stuff, so I'm not quite sure how it all fits together. Oh, it's just announced. I haven't even, like, confirmed oh, yeah. consoles yet or anything like it. Yeah, so yeah, just we're making day. it type of thing. Yeah, just the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I well, should look, go back and play Resident Evil 2. I was playing that on the, um, the the remaster. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got right to the end as you play as, what's his name? Chris? No, you don't play as Chris. You play as a guy from 4. What's his name? I want, Evan? Say, I want to say Vincent, but his name Derek. is Derek. Derek. He plays Derek. Leon. <laughs> Leon. That's his name. He plays Leon that's Kennedy, tr- right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Leon. I got to the end uh, and then I couldn't kill the guy at the end. And uh, I haven't gone back to it. But then I Rage found out quit. you guys mentioned that you play as the girl. Yes. I haven't done that yet. So. Yeah. Except yeah, you play. Th- when you said you play as the girl, I meant to follow up on this. Because Dan made it sound like, yes, I know there's a section where you play as, what's her name? Ada Wong or whatever her name is. A short section where you play as- No, no. It's, you play that. through the game again from the- As the, <laughs> the girl that you met at the gas station or whatever at yes. the start of the game. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like you, you play through once once, and then you play through again with her side. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'll have to go back to that at some point. You know what we should look at doing? Going back to the after party? Going back to the after party. Mm. It's that time. What's the after if you'd party, like to, Luke? If you'd like to listen to us talk for a little bit longer, mm. you can go to patreon.com forward slash multiple nogasm, mm. pay $5 a month, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you can listen to us talk for another 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, sometimes an hour. It's not going to be an hour this week. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> we've, got some, uh, we've got some candidates for Geek of the Week. That's where some celebrity dies and Luke decides which one's the best of them. Yep. Who's worthy of getting the moniker of Geek, Geek of the Week. Of the week. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to start doing at- a thing where we give... So we do the video of this, obviously. You might be watching yes. it right now. Mm-hmm. I want to... Because sometimes we talk about stuff and it, take, it takes a while yes. to edit these things. And sometimes we talk about stuff and it's um, timely. So I think yes. what we're going to start doing is putting up the unedited version of this mm-hmm. really quickly yep. for, pe- for people who just want to fucking hear it straight away. So that'll be a Patreon exclusive, like as in like as in maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending. Got- awesome. Yeah. So I don't know exactly when we're going to start doing that, but. I want to do that. So it'll be a video of this video, the stream straight from the service we use. That'll go up. Yep. And then the audio of that will go up too. And then the proper edited version will come out later. And then you can decide which one you like more. Yeah. If you just want to hear it sooner, you've got the option. 
Yeah. And you might hear us, you know, talking over each other. That'll happen. We won't put that on YouTube, though, because <laughs> they fucking hate that. They're not a fan of that at all. No. That's all for this week. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and iTunes to receive episodes automatically. We'll see you next time.